So creating your dream game can be done very simply, even without knowing how to code. I'll be showing you the step-by-step -step process of how to create your dream game without knowing, even knowing how to code. So when I was a kid, I always loved playing this brick breaker game and I was thinking about creating something like that now as an adult and uh, funny enough, I don't know how to code. So I then met this AI tool, which I'll be showing to you guys how to use shortly on how to code. So let's dive into this uh, AI tool. So first of all, we need to create an account and the name of the AI tool is called V0, link in the description below. So once you follow the link, you have to sign up with an account just like I will be showing you now. So after signing up, you just have to go into the prompt where you have to put your prompt just like chat GPT. So once you put your prompt, so like I, I said, create uh, a brick breaker game. So that's just the simple thing I told uh, the AI to do. So if you notice, the AI is now generating the whole thing. So it will think about it, then it will start generating it. So once it generates it, you see on the right hand side, uh, it will be coming up with the code. You don't have to worry about the code. So once it is done with the code, you will see it will load a preview. So the preview is where you will see how the game works, the whole features of the game and everything. So once it, it has generated, you will see the preview. So So this is the preview. So I'm now testing the game to see. But if you notice, it is not working. It is not breaking the brick. It's just going up and down. The pad are not working. It's just counting score. So I have to rectify the problem. I said, make it work. Uh, interactivity. So I have to tell it and give it this prompt, which you are seeing. So it is regenerating it again. So after regenerating, trying to fix the error. So once I fix the, tell it to create it, make it interactive. So if you notice this, it it is breaking, but it, it's not. If you notice, my paddle is not moving. It's just only going up and down in one direction so i want to fix that problem again so i had to tell the ai to make make it work so i said make it work so now please i want you to guys to understand once you are giving the ai prompts like this don't just tell it make it work just like i did which was one of the mistake i noticed so what i what you have to do is to tell it what you want to make work so each of the components of the game has their name the paddle is that that move left to right the ball is what goes up and hit the bricks so if the ball are not working tell it that make the ball move if the paddle are not working say let the paddle move from left to right so once you continuously do that do that do that you get to see and notice if the game is going to work so once you debug it's just like you trying to debug and see if it is going to work so as you try to improve the prompts and make the prompt more, if you notice, it is now negatively counting. So, so it see, it's, it's not counting the failure like that. So I had to see what I can do to fix that error. So I, I just a couple of debugging and so I try to debug again, debug again, try to see if I can get some error, try to remove the error, try to check. So it's just me going back and forth. Pro this process is just a back and forth process since I don't even know how to code. <laughs> but it, the, pro the process is enjoyable. Once you start doing it, try to add some features, tell the AI what you need it to do. And once you continuously do that, I also told it to add an advanced features where uh, the 
the whole game will come with some promo or benefits or some uh, add up power add ups like adding some features to it so you can just tell it whatsoever that comes to your mind you are the one developing this game so you can just tell the ai to feel free to tell the ai to do whatsoever you want it to do so once you tell it everything like that it will do it for you and you will have your game set up so tell me what game you want to create using the comment section the kind of game you want to create and um what's where the obstacles or are you going to try this air out and what is stopping you from creating your dream game and also apart from that you can also create this game sell this game and um make money from this game so let me just give you a quick idea just before i call it a day now do you know about google admob that's what what google do so you create a game then you publish the game on uh, app store on your play store once you publish the game on play store you have to create a google admob account so once you create a google admob account then you can now pass down with google as people play your game google will serve ads to the game inside the game within the game and you can use that to generate money or you can also sell your game or sell some uh, partnership program or promo program in the game and also make money so this is just how to, you can also make money from what you create using ai so if you enjoy this video and you are, you've gained value from this video don't forget to like share and subscribe to my youtube channel thank you very much for staying around to the end see you in the next video